Hey folks, in this episode, I wanted to share something that happened that was interesting. I was out in the front of my property doing some development one day and a, a loud noise right over my head flew this direction. Ran in, grabbed my camera, followed them. It was feral bees that were taking up residence in a tree up behind my barn. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I brought you guys out into the backyard because I wanted to share with you guys just this little interesting thing that happened to me about eight years ago. I was out in front of the property. I was developing these uh, full RV hookup sites for my RVs. Uh, I was minding my own business, doing work, and then this loud buzzing noise right over my head began to happen. Well, fortunately, I knew what that meant. There was a swarm of bees on their way to a new home. I ran and grabbed my camera, and I followed them, and I listened carefully for the noise. They're loud when they are uh, actually all of them in flight, and so I followed them up to this tree. This here is the tree. I was referring to which the feral bees took up residence in. So you can see as I follow up the tree, there's a little hole in the pop, top part of this tree and it's hollow in there. As we stick, uh, sit here and watch, you can see the honeybees coming and going. This is a nice morning. My bees in my own apiary are busy, but I watch these bees from time to time, year after year, over the past seven, eight years. And just to see how health they are, uh, how they're going, they disappeared one year and I think that was due to, uh, we hadn't quite gotten the crops legalized for growing marijuana, so there was people jumping the gun and growing illegal crops and also using a lot of illegal pesticides. So a lot of beekeepers that year lost a lot of their pollinators due to the illegal pesticides being used. I lost all of my bees as a result of one of the neighbors. That neighbor fortunately is in prison now. We turned the bees over to the the agriculture department, they sent them to the crime lab, the state police crime lab up in Ashland, Oregon. They did forensics on them along with the other bees in the area, in the region. And they found indeed, yes, they were poisoned. Uh, they couldn't quite identify the poison, but they were not na native to our area and they were illegal. So any, any pesticides you use, be careful they're, they're natural, as natural as possible, and be careful they do not kill pollinators. We need the pollinators. I don't care if you're growing marijuana crops or whatever. It's legal in the state of Oregon now, or hemp, whatever they call it. I don't care if you're growing it, but be responsible for uh, maintaining your agriculture. If you're doing the other uh, stuff wrong, you have no business in the business at all. So it's good to see this be uh, a colony repopulated. Another feral colony came in and repopulated this tree. I'm happy to see that. I have to admit, I was concerned about the uh, legalization of marijuana. I don't care if people do marijuana crops or whatever. It's none of my business. What I was concerned about is how will it affect the pollinators and the honeybees? Yeah, they say that the marijuana crops don't need to be pollinated because uh, the one wind does all the pollination. You can't tell a bee that they don't need to pollinate or go gather nectar or uh, pollen or whatever it is from these crops. You can't tell that to a bee. Uh, so my concern was if the bees were gonna go and collect pollen as by nature is it their, what they do, and nectar and whatever they're else, cause they also grow, uh, uh, they also get sap, they make propolis from it. They take it back to the hive and my concern was any level of THC in my honey would be a little problematic uh, on trying to sell my honey across the border or even distributed it to uh, families with children. Yeah, 
No. So I just had a legitimate concern and I produced a video, do my bees have a buzz? I had a couple of concerns. So honeybees will forage close by, they'll go three to five miles around the hives just looking for food. And there could be a number of, you know, marijuana uh, gardens around. They'll go grab the uh, pollen and nectar. And uh, I don't know much about marijuana. It never really interested me. But uh, my concern was, being ignorant to marijuana, was will my bees have a buzz? Uh, let's whittle it down. Number one, will the bees get confused ingesting that marijuana pollen I don't know if it has THC in it, maybe, I don't know, but my concern was, will they have a buzz, get confused, not make it back to the hive? Number two is, will they get the munchies and clean out all the honey stores they're laying up and end up going uh, hungry for the winter? Number three is, like I mentioned before, Will they lace the honey with THC and make it impossible for me to distribute my honey to the market? Those were my three main concerns. So I reached out to um, the bee lady who is, uh, uh, she's premier in her field. Uh, she's world renowned for her uh, knowledge of um, honeybees in, out of Ashland, Oregon. Also reaching out to Montana State University they have a beekeeping uh, program up there where they teach master beekeepers. My friend Mules, uh, Ken Mulestein actually got a degree from that beekeeping uh, program and also reached out to our uh, Oregon Extension office to see what is, but as a, a concerned beekeeper, a concerned pollinator with this new crop that's coming in. So all is well, nothing's happened. We're two, three years later after the crops have come in and just really saturated our valley. So uh, honeybees are being, all the pollinators are doing fine. Uh, like I said before, with the exception of a couple of irresponsible um, growers that were actually doing it illegal and weren't licensed now they got busted they're being monitored they got busted they got shut down so that's a good thing it's being controlled the state's watching it it's being monitored by the oregon liquor control commission i think they're the ones who are delegated to uh police this so uh p i know people use the product it has a lot of benefits uh good for you I just, I have no interest in it. So I have a healthy bee colony. They're growing, they're thriving, they're rehabitating the hives. And also what's more important is the feral bee tree up in my backyard. It's like the litmus test to see how the pollinators are really doing. Uh, so I keep an eye on that tree. Uh, that tells me how the health of the hives are really, um, the, the bee colony or even the pollinators. I've got butterflies like I haven't seen in years flying around. These are the swallowtails. We're still waiting for the monarchs. My daughter's really into uh, trying to plant all the plants to attract the monarchs, but pollinators are important. I'm Jerry Hansen, your host. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you guys for sharing this little adventure uh, with us and a little sharing a little bit of the history of uh, what's been going on here on the homestead. Stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon. That alerts you to new videos as I do upload them. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Yeah. Click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms helps us out. Be safe. Please, folks, always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye-bye now.